To find these online resources, you'll need to go to the library's homepage, lapl.org. Once you're there, go ahead and click on Collections and Resources at the top left of Central Library's main web page. From there, you will have several options at your disposal. Some of the databases you will find most useful in your research include TESSA, which is a database that includes more than 120,000 photographs, as well as maps, posters, and a whole lot more. You'll find the Los Angeles Public Library blog, and by narrowing your results by genealogy, you will find interesting posts, the majority of which are written by the senior librarian and resident genealogist, Julie Huffman. Further down the list, you will find web resources, which is a subject-based list of websites that the librarians have compiled for users. Again, you will want to look through these, but of special note is the history and genealogy subject list. In here, you will find an online list of everything from digitized books and newspapers to genealogy education for all levels, beginner to advanced. It is here that you'll find a few of the most valuable databases for genealogical research as well, Ancestry and MyHeritage. Next up, we have the LAPL indexes, which includes an array of searchable databases. Some of the databases that you'll find include the California Index, the City Directories Index, the Genealogy and Local History Index, and all the way at the bottom, the Obituary Index. Keep in mind that the City Directory database has directories from all over the country, but only select LA directories are available digitally. So if you don't find what you're looking for, be sure to go in and see what the librarian has on microfilm and microfiche. Last but not least, we have one of the greatest treasure troves of information that you will find on this website, research guides. These are produced by the Central Library Subject Department librarians in order to acquaint library users with popular topics that you see listed below. If you only have time for one website, folks, let this be your first stop. Some areas of interest, of course, include genealogy, the map collection, newspapers just below that, and obituaries. Also note that they have the Sanborn Fire Insurance Atlases. These are a gem among gems for genealogy research, take my word for it. And at the very end, vital records. These vital records, of course, include birth, death, and marriage records for the state of California. And if all of those resources weren't enough, you also have the Octavia Lab at your disposal. What is the Octavia Lab, you ask? Let me show you. On the home page, just under Collections and Resources, there you will find it, the Octavia Lab. You'll be most interested in the Do-It-Yourself Memory Lab, just here. Click on that and there you will find all the services that they offer. In a nutshell, if you've been meaning to transfer over your family memories from VHS or any other format, you want to be sure to stop by. Just don't forget to make a reservation for orientation first because they want to show you how to use the technology available to you. One final thing that you'll want to note is the calendar of events, which can be found under the events tab on the home page. It is here that you're going to find all of the services that the History and Genealogy Department offers, past and future programs. From the page, you're going to narrow your results by genealogy research, select Find It, and here you will find everything that is coming or that has come before.